What's up with it, YouTube? It's your boy Rebuke, man. And yo, 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 I'm trying to tell you, man. We got this story courtesy of WXYZ TV Detroit, Channel 7. Shooting leads to search for missing former police officer. And man, let me tell y'all, when you see this clip, you just got to see it. Roll it. All right, now we're going to turn to a day of terror in a Detroit neighborhood. And this was all caught on camera. It started yesterday morning with a man and a high-powered rifle blasting a home with bullets, even appearing to dance with the gun. Just hours later, he came back. This is insane. He wildly pumped more bullets into that home, even with children inside. Then late last night, the Michigan State Police chopper helped officers on the ground find that suspect and take him into custody. But the case is not over. It's now uncovered the disappearance of a former police officer. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner is live with what is behind this crazy case. Jim, fill us in. Carolyn, that's the big mystery. That guy taken into custody remains in custody. It's not clear if he's cooperating. That house you saw getting shot up twice, clearly targeted. But why? This is an individual just terrorizing a neighborhood. And I can tell you right now, we have no idea why. This is the first shooting caught on video at 11 a.m. yesterday. You can see the gunman dancing around in the street, apparently after firing the first shots. Then he props up the gun on top of the car, ready to fire more. Video number two at 2.30, the same house, the same gunman, opens fire into the house with five adults and three kids inside. One man in the house is shot in the hand, but not seriously injured. You can see today the big front window of the house, boarded up. By the time the gunman makes it back to his car, he's under fire. Other homeowner uh, fired back upon him. As he ran back to his car, I think in the video you can see the back window being blown out. Yep, straight along the fence line, right up ahead of you. He's about six yards out in front of you. The manhunt went late into the night. You're riding in a state police chopper with night vision, helping officers on the ground close in. He's getting up right now and running northbound. He's still carrying something, guys. Heads up. Several officers from Detroit, Wayne County, Michigan State Police making the arrest. They got him. Great job, Scout. It all happened without incident. They recovered these two guns and a car that were owned by this man, 41-year-old Stefan Hodo, a former Detroit cop from 2005 to 2013. He left the department with a clean record. At the, at the house, it does appear to be a little bit of a struggle. Uh, we just want to make sure that he's okay, he's fine. So police are asking Hodo to contact them so they can figure out if he's a victim or more. If you know where he is, you're being asked to call Crime Stoppers, 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Police have a lot to put together with this case. Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. We called it crazy, and that's certainly how that looked. Thank you so much, Jim. And you're talking about crazy for real? Here it is. You got this grown man that's in, in broad daylight firing shots into an occupied dwelling. I mean, that was his bright idea for the day. And then the silly criminal was so brazen to where he actually came back, you know, and terrorized this neighborhood and that poor family once again. And, you know, so, you know, activity like this could never be tolerated in the community. You know, that's that's why I don't understand this uh, stop snitching, don't tell shit. Man, if that ain't the dumbest stuff I ever heard, who won't? Who wants to live in a neighborhood where you got a bunch of low-life thugs that don't own no property up in the neighborhood, no commercial buildings, no nothing, but they running through that shooting up stuff like that? Who wants to live amongst that? You know, you want to live in a neighborhood where your children don't have to worry about that, where your family don't have to worry about that. You see, that's what it's all about. It's not about being so inconsiderate. And so reckless to where you want to go start shooting a, an assault rifle, semi-automatic, in broad daylight into somebody's house. With no care if there's children in there, adults, if you kill somebody or not. 
And then you got this idiot that's dancing around. And he lucky he didn't get shot while he was dancing around, you know. But hey, man, shots out, you know what I'm saying, to the police, man, for doing their job, man. You know, shit, you know, if I see it, you know, every dummy like this that's uh, walking around on the streets, man, get them up off the streets. Give our children, our women, our brothers, our mothers, our sisters, you know, our cousins, our uncles, give them a chance to live. You know, this loser, he's going to spend the rest of his life behind bars. And if not the rest of his life, I'm pretty sure Michigan is going to break him off something real proper, you know. And knowing how they do things, he probably going to get X amount of time for each shot that he fired into that dwelling. And I say he deserve it. With that being said, man, drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And once again, thanks for tuning in to Rebuke All Devils Radio. 107.7, home of the truth. I'll catch y'all on the next episode, and shout out to the Wizard.